Hello everyone, Shoestring here. Here's the 100 watt solar panel that I'm using to show how to connect the standard MC4 connectors from the solar panel to a charge controller. Then we'll be doing from the charge controller to the battery. I just wanted to give everyone a good look at it. MC4 connectors is what most solar panels come with. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's really quite simple. What you need, of course, is your solar panel. This is a 100 watt solar panel. And it will come with these connectors already with it, right here. So you'll have to purchase your own MC4 connector and strip the end so you can get it in the charge controller. So this end is negative, because you can see it's black and it says negative. Almost all of these will do that. Also, here is the positive. And I didn't connect this one yet because I wanted to show you how to do it. Simple, you take it, slide it in, and it is together. They hold together quite well. Now the next step, after these are connected, you take your stripped ends and you put them into your charge controller. I'll show you how, and you'll need a small screwdriver to do that. All right, so standard charge controller. This is about a $20 one I got on Amazon. You can get them $20, $25, fairly inexpensive Chinese. If you look at the bottom, you'll see where it has solar panel. Right there is the picture. Also one of a battery but we're going to do the solar panel. Also, you can see there's a positive, and you can see there's a negative. You also need a screwdriver of some type to do this. So let's start out. You're going to take one of the stripped ends, make sure it's all nice and smooth and round, have it slide right in. Sometimes it takes several times. Slide right in. And then I'm going to tighten it down. All tighten down. Take the next one, of course. Same thing, slide it right in. And we will tighten it down. Now, they are both connected to the charge controller. You just set this up where you want it. What we're going to do next is connect the charge controller to the battery. Because remember, the battery simply stores the power that you have gotten from the solar panel. We have this connected to the picture of the solar panel. The next connection show a little battery there. A little battery there, a plus and a minus. That's what we're going to do next. So we're going to take our connectors, our little wires, and these are a little different because they go to the battery. So we're going to do the same way we did before. Going to make sure they're nice and turned. We're going to put the positive into the positive. Right in there like that. And then we're going to tighten it down. Tighten it down really, really well. Then we're going to take the negative and do the same thing. Put it in there, right in this little hole right there, and tighten it in. Positive and negative are both in. Now, take our clamps and connect them to the battery. Always do the negative first. Negative positive. Now, back over here to the charge controller. You can see it is now running. The charge controller shows that the battery has a 13 volt charge in it. 
It has 13, as you can see right there. Then, of course, you can always go through and look at whatever your charge controller does. It'll tell you diff different connects, different disconnects, and what the safeties are. But there you can see it's totally set up. You have the solar panel with the MC4 connectors that takes you into the charge controller. Charge controller, of course, into the battery. And now the battery will be fully charged and safe because you have it on a charge controller. Next, all you have to do to make this work is hook this up to hook the battery up to an inverter and you have power. I had a question about this exact charge controller the other day. Do the USB ports in these little cheap charge controllers work? Well, let's find out. I happen to have a cord right here. We're going to plug it in. Then we're going to plug it into this little, little phone here, and we'll see if it works. There it is. You see it come up? You see it start to charge? So yes, the USB that comes with these little Chinese inexpensive charge controllers actually work. All right, if you have any other questions or comments, please put it down in the comment section. I do answer. And of course, a lot of this comes from people asking questions. And like and subscribe, shoestring out.